everyone and welcome. My name is Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I would like to share with you this little travel suitcase that I made. I did kind of show it in one of the previous videos as well uh, when I was still working on it. But this is my travel suitcase that I made for a challenge in the Line Dot Arrow Facebook group. The challenge is over. This was for August, but um, as I said in my last video, I am revealing this a little bit late. Um, I've been super busy. I'm actually moving at the moment, which is why this travel suitcase is perfect um, for my move because I can have some little keepsakes in there. I showed before these little fabric tags. So these were part of a weekly challenge um, that we did in the Facebook group as well. Um, and yeah, I've used the lovely Follow the Heart papers. Um, and I had this little closure on the front just to keep everything closed and then when you open up we have all the goodies inside. So to start with at the top here we have an envelope and it's just held in place by these um, little picture frame holders. And then I've just made it an expandable envelope. And then all I did was just slit the front just so that there is a closure there but I really love the map. At the back here as well and I didn't want to cover it up with the envelope permanently by gluing it down so that's why I thought I would just sort of slide it in with those corner holders. I used the papers in the kit to create these cute little picture holders and um, this is actually a die I have but um, I used the papers to create it and then there's a place for me to stick a photo. You've seen me create this in a previous video, so this was just a little travel wallet. So I made it with um, an expandable pocket so I can put things like stamps and small pieces of ephemera in there. So great for travels. This one I also showed in a previous video. This was just um, an alternative way to use the die that I was using. So there are lots of pockets. I've got a little one at the back. And then as you open it up, there are more pockets inside. So I've got two larger ones on the outside and then another smaller one just on the inside again where they both overlap. And then again, we've just got this string closure, which I just wrap around just to keep it closed. So also in here I have a few tags from the kit which I will be journaling on and then um, attaching inside when I am ready. And then the last thing at the bottom is this kind of pull out accordion photo holder. So this will be great for storing lots and lots of photos um, and I have done it both sides. So I've got lots of little tuck spots like this one here with a ticket on the side. Um, I loved the pictures on the back, so again, didn't want to permanently cover them, which is why I've created tuck spots um, throughout this flip. Some of the papers are quite plain, so at least I can use them then for journaling. And again, I've kind of alternated, so I've got these little um, picture holders in each of the corners. So again, another journaling spot and then a tuck spot with some ephemera that again I can journal on. Again, a plain one for writing, another one with those picture corners. And then at the bottom, there is again a tuck spot with some little pieces of ephemera to journal on. And then I followed the same pattern on the back. So again, you've got those picture corner holders and then the page next to it is plain enough for writing. This one I did a belly band. Um, I had little bits of sort of cut offs for when I was covering the box. So I thought I'd make a cute little belly band again, some plain paper on the other side, or I should say plainer paper. It's still got fl florals and stuff on them, um, but somewhere for me to journal. I've really loved putting this box together. Um, as I say, I am moving at the moment. So I thought I would store memories of where I currently live in here. Um, and also then have some photos of where I'm moving to just to kind of show my transition from one area to the next because I'm moving quite far away um, and away from my family as well. So I'm going to have some family photos in here as well, which will be a really nice, cute keepsake. 
Now when I did this closure on the front, I know normally with these policy, policy closures you wrap the string all the way around, but I found actually just folding it round the sides um, it was still a snug enough fit that the lid doesn't come loose it still keeps kind of holds it all together so I was quite pleased with that that it just needs to be kind of tucked either side and that's my little travel suitcase so I have made this out of a HP instant ink box that I've just covered um, I thought it made a nice sturdy box as I say I want to fill it up with different sort of photos and ephemera and bits and pieces of where I currently live and where I'm moving to as well as some family pictures just to kind of show my travel from one place of living to another because I'm moving to a completely different area it's quite far away from where I currently live so I am moving away from family um, which also means that you're probably not going to be seeing many videos from me between now and possibly November which I know is a it feels like a long long time away but I'm sure it will go quite quickly but yeah my craft room is currently being boxed up and packed so yeah I certainly won't be able to do any crafting or videos for a little while what I am going to be doing though is I've got this book prepared um, I wanted to do this at the beginning of the year. Um, it's the Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. So I've got my book cover ready. I've got my fabric pieces ready to start stitching on. I have never done any stitchery before, so this is certainly going to be interesting. But I was thinking it's something that I can do while I'm moving that doesn't require having lots of different bits and pieces out. Because I knew if I was making a journal... I'd be like, oh, I need my crocodile. Oh, I need my eyelets. And I'd just, yeah. But I thought this way, I just need some threads and bits of fabrics as well as this book and the base pages. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that this will keep me busy. And I may do some YouTube shorts. I'll also be posting pictures on Instagram. So if you do not follow me on Instagram yet, um, my links are down below. Um, come and take a look because I will be posting updated pictures on there. Well, that's it from me. As I say, I will be gone from the channel for a little while while I am moving. But as I say, make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that bell. I will be doing shorts to kind of show you how I'm getting on with the journal and stitchery. And like I say, follow me on Instagram and you'll see some updates there as well. But for now, I wish you all a wonderful crafty day and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. See you later now. Bye bye.